putt. Goddamn, get it done with ya. Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We run into New York. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be going over a common, common part on your BMW engine, and it's not very highly spoken about anywhere. So I'm gonna go over it with you and I'm gonna show you how it works and what will happen if it stops working or it's not functioning actually correctly on your BMW and this will destroy your BMW engine if it's not functioning the way it should be from factory. So as many of you guys will see here, this is the BMW M52 engine. This is my one in my five series. And as you see here, I've removed all the parts to be able to show you this common item, which ends up failing on a lot of BMWs and people as well end up running their head around rings trying to figure out how to replace this common part and what the actual problem is. So as many of you guys know, you've got the Valvetronic motor, you've got your Vanos solenoids, and you've got your ignition coils, which can cause all misfires, rough running, and for your timing not to advance on this engine. But there's always a common part that's always overlooked on this engine, and I'm gonna be explaining to you today what part that is and how it always fails and a lot of people don't actually explain it and how to sort it out. So it's gonna be this part right here. Now, as many of you guys don't know, this is the eccentric shaft sensor. Now, what a lot of you don't realize is you can get oil in here and it will damage your eccentric shaft sensor. Also, this itself can just end up failing. Now, this is connected to the eccentric shaft itself, which is inside here, which the Valvetronic motor rolls up and down on, on this motor, and which advances, the, opens and closes the valves um, to advance, obviously, to timing. Now, when it actually goes out, a lot of you will experience rough idle, rough running. Sometimes your car won't start. Sometimes it'll be stalling. Now, when these first come out, if I'm correct, BMW done a recall for these because they were a common problem and a common failure item on all the M52 engines. And people were running around like headless chickens not knowing what the actual problem was. Now, when you do replace the valve cover, a lot of you replace the seal. My best advice, would be if you're gonna take the valve cover off to redo the eccentric shaft sensor at the same time because they do fail. And for instance, if you just replace your valve cover on this engine and then that ends up failing, you have to then take off all your valve cover again to be able to do that. Now, it's not so bad on this one, for instance, the magnesium block because you've got the metal gasket. Now, metal gaskets, if it's only just been replaced, you will have to redo the bolts again. Now, a lot of people aren't gonna take that advice and they're just gonna reuse the same bolts that they take off. But don't do that. If you have to gain to this extension shaft sensor, make sure to buy new bolts. I know it's a pain, but they're only like 20 pounds to buy all new bolts for this engine, so it doesn't make sense not to do that, you know? The, on the other hand, the central shaft sensor, like I say, touch wood, I ain't had no issues with it. But I have known a lot of people, and especially on the M43 and 46, these go bad. And a lot of you already know um, if you've got the two litre engines, that these go bad as well. These are a known, known problem to go bad all the time. And when they go bad, you will end up with your car not starting, or you'll end up with it in reduced limp mode. The whole idea of this is that idle, to keep the idle very smooth and steady. And this is what helps advance your timing. It's all computerized, as you see here on this cable. This cable runs back to the DME and all the ignition coils, and it links onto the Valvetronic motor. So this, in sync with the Valvetronic motor, will advance the timing on the eccentric shaft when you want the timing to advance on this engine. So if it's not corresponding correctly, you'll end up with lumpy idle, bad timing, and the car completely running rough. A lot of people overlook this as the problem and will replace everything like the ignition coils, the van solenoids, and the problem will still be there. And it's usually down to this main culprit here. So lift this plug up and check you don't have oil inside there because it's a common problem for oil to get inside. If oil is passing and sitting in the plug hole right here, then that means you'll need to get a new one because it destroys them. As soon as oil gets in, it leaks through. And as you see on the back of the central shaft, when you would unbolt it, you would see metal components, which have got components which correspond with the eccentric shaft itself to advance the time. So if they get any oil behind there, it will destroy the eccentric shaft because they leak through the plug here and straight down into the eccentric shaft, which damages it. You can clean it out all you want, but it still won't function correctly. So that's the main cause of why your car will be rough running as well. As I said, it's not a highly spoken about item. It is something I believe that should be replaced when you change the valve cover. Um, it's still not cheap for that sensor. Um, and that's purely because 
it is a common problem on a lot of cars and people need them so it's very very expensive for that sort of shaft sensor but bearing in mind if you're going to take off your valve cover it's better off to do it because as i said if it ends up failing when you've done the valve cover you'll end up back in the same position of having to remove it to resort that back out but just be aware that when you do reconnect it after your valve cover that you put it back in correctly now as you see here my one just slots back in perfectly like that and like I said, when you do take it off, just make sure there's no oil in it. It does come out very easily as well. And there's no oil with my one. So that's uh, good for this engine. But as you guys know, I look after this engine very, very well. And I check it on a regular basis to make sure there is no oil in all the sensors, all down the ignition coils from anyone ever filling. So there you have it guys. A lot of people have asked me to do a video on this sensor right here. I know it's a common problem, not very well spoken about. But yes, this will cause rough idle, this will cause a misfire, and this will cause all your rough running codes and even for your car to crank and not stop because this sensor is needed to align the eccentric shaft for the starting position when you first turn over the engine to align it all properly to idle and balance the idle out. So for instance, when you're in open loop, it's not running off the sensor, as soon as it goes in the closed loop, your car will probably die when it's starting and it's all due that eccentric shaft sensor. So just be aware of that guys. And I hope this now clears up a lot of problems that a lot of you guys have been having. And if you are running around like headless chicken, replace everything on your Info2 engine, my best advice is to check that next. So as you've seen there now, guys, I've just shown you a common, common fault on the Info2 engine. Now, this isn't to say everyone's gonna experience this, like this car's on 160K. I wouldn't know its history. I don't know if it's ever been replaced in this life or it was done by BMW. Cause as I said, there was a recall for these eccentric shaft sensors back when these were new, cause it was a common problem. I knew people on E63 having this engine issue on the M52 engine and they were all getting them replaced on the BMW warranty because it was an expensive component at the time. I think it was a thousand pound for the sensor alone. So I know a lot of people were having them replaced for free by BMW. But that being said, they do still go wrong. And a lot of people who ain't had it done are gonna experience this symptom. A lot of you already know about this already and probably have already rectified it on your M52 engine. And as I said, this does apply for the M43 and M46 as well, because there's a common, common issue on them that use the Valvetronic motors. They were the first to use the Valvetronic DM46, and it did suffer big issues with the eccentric shaft sensor as well. They did try and rectify it a bit on the M52, but it wasn't by much. So therefore, if you're having issues and you're rough running, rough idle, you can't figure out what it is, you've replaced everything else, go to the eccentric shaft sensor. Sometimes they throw a code, sometimes they don't. You need to check them properly over scanner and check the tolerances on the system itself to see if it's actually working or not working. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's BMW Dr. Dean here. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.